Okay, so if you come across this problem here in an examination, how do you solve it? Okay, so we're going to do this in two ways. Here we have the first method, and on this side we'll have the second method. Square root of x over 3x equals 2, right? Let's go with this method first. Now we have square root of x over 3x equals 2. Now for this method, realize that, okay, x, square root of x is the same as x to the power of 2, then this is divided by 3x, and this is equal to 2. Now, what do I do again from here? To continue with this, I can have this as 1 over 3 into, remember, this x to the power of 1 over 2 is still there, so I write x to the power of 1 over 2. Then this is over x. This x is the same as x to the power of 1. This 3 is already out. I This is equal to 2. I will equate to 2, right? Now, the next thing I will do is to apply one of the laws of indices here so that 1 over 3 is going to multiply. Pick one of the bases, x. Then we have 1 over 2 minus 1. Remember, this is still equal to 2. Now, if we go ahead from here, we're going to get 1 over 3 into x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over 2. Right? This is equal to what? 2. Now, sorry, I wrote out of sight. Okay? Now, I intentionally paused the video and then I solved on, right? So I would like you to take a look at this. The step I took so far to this length, here is my um, plus 2. Okay, can you understand the steps? Just look at it yourself and see if you can understand. In fact, let's look at it from here again. Okay, 1 over 2 minus 1. Will it give minus 1 over 2? Okay, you look at it. Then what happened? How come we have 6 over here? How did we get the 6? If you can get it, then you're doing really well. The 6 is by 3 multiplying 2 because we cross multiplied. So 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. And now this is a loan here. There will be need for us to remove this negative 1 over 2. And to do that, we multiply it by its reciprocal. And the reciprocal of negative 1 over 2 is negative 2 over 1. Okay, so the reciprocal, which is negative 2 over 1, should reflect on the right. But when it goes to the right, it becomes, um, okay, negative 2 over 1 is the same as negative 2. Okay, so that is what happened over there. And then, negative two. Um, 2 times 2 into 2 is 1, then minus 1 times minus 1 will give us plus 1. So that means here we should be having x to the power of 1, and that is the same as x. Here, 6 to the power of negative 2 is the same as 1 over 6 squared from one of the laws of indices. So this means that our x is 1 over 6 squared, which is 36. So, we will now conclude that our x is equal to 1 over 36. Now, let's use the second method. I believe this method is not too lengthy, right? Now, let's get the second method right away. I'm going to get the second method. Okay, so this is the equation again. And the second method is that I would directly multiply, you know, cross multiply. This is over 1. Root x times 1 is root x. And then 3x times 2 is 6x. What should we do? We have from um, root x squared to be equal to 6x squared. Okay. Now we will now continue. This is going to take this away. And then x will be equal to 
6x times 6x. So our x is equal to 36x squared. That's what we have. Now, we are expected to write the one with the higher power first. So 36x squared will be written first, and it's equal to x. Do not divide both sides by x, okay? Divide both sides by, um, how do we do it? If I do not divide yet, right, what do you do? 36x squared minus x is equal to 0. Bring everything to the same side. Remember, there's nothing over here. So that we can now factorize x out as we have 36x again minus x into x is 1. And everything here is equal to 0. Okay, so what should we do? From here now, we're going to have x to be equal to 0 or 36x minus 1 to be equal to 0. We are applying what we call the zero product rule. So that our x from here remains zero. Or here now, 36x is equal to zero plus one. x remains zero. Or 36x is equal to one. So at this point, our x still remains zero here. Or here now, 36 divided by 36 will be equal to 1 divided by 36. So what am I doing? I am dividing both sides by the coefficient of of x, which is um 36. Then, another thing to do is the cancellation, right? I've not really cancelled. So our x is equal to 0 or x from here is equal to 1 over 36. Now, what do you notice? This second method gave us two solutions, right? Saying that x is equal to 0 or 1 over 36. Now, the first method gave us x to be 1 over 36 and the second x to be 0 or 1 over 36. But x to be 0 will be rejected in this case. Why? Because the given equation is the square root of x over 3x to be equal to 2. So if you put x to be 0, that means that you're never going to have 2 as your answer. Okay, so the x to be equal to 0 will make the equation to be undefined. So, you now we'll make... Um, the work to be undefined. So our x is just equal to 1 over 36. Only the first method gave us all that we need. The second method gave us more than we need.